comment, and then we will take questions. Well, I'm, I'm awfully uh, proud of my team. I, I thought the uh, first quarter was really special. I thought they really played well. I thought Rashonda was just very, very special tonight in the first half, especially. She uh, really uh, bailed us out of some bad sets and uh, um, made some really big shots for us and, uh, and, 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 and got us the, the really where we were at halftime. We're obviously not there. She's not knocking down shots, and uh, it's it just changes us when you've got her and, and Blair out there that can make a few shots out there. And uh, Blair had some good looks, made a couple, but uh, Roe was Roe was really special the first half. And uh, you know, I don't. We were uh, eight for seventeen and a half. She was five out of six from three, and. Uh, um, we really fed off of her. Uh, I thought Victoria did a great job tonight. She really battled hard. Um, she's got you know, a load down there dealing with them uh, physically. Those two kids down there are really good. Uh, I thought the second half we went to her to open the second half, and she, she absolutely responded and did what Victoria's done her entire career. So, um, you know, T has a double-double, and it's the quietest 21 points I think I've ever seen. I had no idea she had 21. And uh, 7 out of 10 from the free throw line, she's she's done a good job making the adjustment. Uh, what was she at half? 0 for 3 or 1 for 3? And so she goes 6 for six for 8 in the second half and uh, 21 points, 16 rebounds in a Southeastern Conference game. It's just, it's just phenomenal what she's doing. And uh, again, I don't think people really appreciate the player that she is. But I uh, thought the second half when, when Roe kind of struggled a little bit on offense, um, Victoria really bailed us out, her and Tierra. So Kentucky's a heck of a team. They could easily be 7-4 and four instead of 4-7 and seven going into tonight. They've had some hard luck with some injuries. And uh, Macy's missed a game or two. And, um, you know, they're probably 10 points over four games from being seven and four. So they're not dead. They're, we have to go back down there in two weeks, and, and uh, that hasn't been a good trip yet. And uh, those kids are playing at a real high level. I'm proud of what we were able to do with, with Murray because she's coming off of averaging 18 a game the last six ball games and three steals and five assists, shooting 50%, 40 from three. And so uh, I was real. I'm really pleased. That's probably the biggest key to the game is uh, our ability to, to guard her a little bit. And uh, we knew Macy was going to do what she does. And you know that third quarter, that was her time. I mean, we talked about it at halftime. I knew she was going to come out and want to try to assert herself a little bit. And boy, she sure did. So once we regrouped, you know, I, again, I, I thought we were really good. Ro, how much do you think that, that this team un understands, appreciates, relishes the fact that you guys can share the ball, you can find the hot player and continue to get the ball to the hot player when that player's hot? I think we understand a lot. I mean, that's what we do at practice. And so we practice how we play. And I feel like when we find an open player, we always have confidence in those people that are shooting. So I think we understand. And do you, do you think that you guys have the freedom to, and the and the trust and the confidence of your teammates that when you're you're feeling it like you did, that you could say, hey, I'm just gonna I'm gonna step into this shot and I'm go ahead and take it. For sure, I think. I mean, the whole team has confidence in, in each other, and that's just how we play. Bro, did you have a good feel today? Shooting rounds good, or how did you feel coming into the game? I felt good, but I mean, I felt like if I got started on defense, then my offense would. Come. And I had my team behind me, and they were looking for me. And I knew I had to knock down the shot when my time came. Tori, you had two teams you had not beaten in conference. You beat them within a week. Was just what's it feel like to get, I guess, that monkey off the back last couple of games? I'm gonna feel good. You know, I didn't want to go my whole senior career not beating them. So uh, I'm in my whole college career not beating them. So it felt good, and I'm just glad that the team came out with the win. Morgan, coach talked about how. Kentucky's been shooting the basketball coming into the game. Um, how much did you, you feel that, that you and, and your teammates maybe set the tone defensively, especially in the, in the first half? Uh, I know our scout was specific. I'm not going to mention because we got to play him again, but I feel like we did what 
we took away some things that they wanted to do, and I feel like that really helped us. I know Murray, you know, she went two for nine. She likes to get a lot of layups, so I try to get back in transition, get in front of her, and slow it down a lot. And I mean, like Morris, <coughs> Morris came out second half. We didn't have an answer for it, so we're gonna do better next game. Rashonda, it's like you kind of shot them out of that zone in the second quarter, and they came out in the third quarter and kind of made some changes. What were you seeing from them defensively in the second half? Um, I think they just switched up, man, and we went with a different different um, answer. I mean, had Tori, Tierra, so we went with a different answer. We made them get out the zone. Vic, how do you think the team handled the two, three points? <laughs> My biggest concern coming in was turnovers and handling their half court trap and mm -hmm. even the traps out just to play on two three. We only had seven turnovers, so I think our kids handled it extremely well. Um, Tierra had three of our seven, you know, they were doubling her early. And uh, I, I thought really we, we handled it awfully well because this is a team that and they gobble up turnovers, they turn them into points. I mean, they're, they're, the last six games, I think they were getting 20 plus points on turnovers. And, um, and so tonight they had five. That was a big key for us. Did it surprise you then when they came out in the two for No, no, we were ready. I mean, and quite frankly, I don't know that we even worked on man, did we, for two days? We, we went against the zone a lot. And uh, the third quarter when they opened up in man, which I felt like they probably would get out of that zone a little bit. And, but they went back to it. And uh, and we missed some things in it uh, that we'll, we won't miss next time. But I thought our kids were really good. I thought they answered today. Kentucky made a big run at us. You know, they opened with four straight threes. And uh, we opened, I think, with three straight twos. And, uh, but I mean, I, you know, it's going to happen in this league with good teams and, and good coaches. And, uh, you know, they came out and kind of punched first, and then we responded. And um, so I'm, I'm, anytime you win in this league, I'm, I'm pleased. And I think, again, these kids did a great job. Mo, did you feel like you all adjusted well after Morris had hit? I think she had hit 11 in the first five and a half. Did you feel like you all were able to kind of get back and, and adjust well defensively after that? Mm, I think our defense just start the way it lays out. I mean, we fouled a lot. I know I fouled a lot today. Um, I probably had more ball because <coughs> they was throwing flare screens. So my, I mean, my person was throwing the ball over my head to the person. So I had the ball person next time. <coughs> I think our defense just wore on her. Yeah. Morgan, uh, the same question I asked uh, Ro about understanding and, and appreciating how one player can get hot, and trying to trying to find that player. Um, how much do you think that you guys, everybody, uh, understands that? And that's part of what's made the offense so good. I think everyone understands it. We practice together every day. And, you know, if someone's high, you try to keep getting the ball back. I know Rose hot the first half, so I kept trying to get her the ball. I tried to get throw back, get it back to her, see if she did a quick look three. But, I mean, we have a lot of shoes on the court. There are a lot of people that can get a bucket, so it makes my job a little easier. I just got, I just got to set them up being aggressive. Morgan probably had two big shots in the second half. She had the three and then the two. We were kind of, they were trying to make a little run on us and had it to 12 both times, I think. And she knocks down a two and then knocked down the three in another possession. So those were pretty big shots for us. Coach, no minutes for uh, for Chloe tonight. <laughs> Is her availability okay for the next ball game? Oh, yeah. It just, you know, I played four kids tonight, 34, 40, 33, and 40. And, I don't know, just the matchups, the pressure, the press um, concern me a little bit. And, uh, you know, it wasn't anything preconceived. It just it worked out that way. So Chloe's fine. I mean, she's obviously had some huge games for us, and so I'm sure she's going to play a lot on Thursday at wherever we are. Where are we? Vanderbilt. Uh, all seem to know. <laughs> Coach, you talked in the media earlier this week about you know, Morgan and hopefully gaining some confidence from the, the Florida game. Um, the fact that she's uh, ready and, and willing to step up and hit those two big shots there, um, do you see that confidence becoming a little bit more consistent? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I know everybody wants to sometimes make a big deal out of Morgan and Morgan just has more offensive weapons around her, so she's embraced her role. She has eight assists and no turnovers tonight. 
That's an amazing stat. Forget the two shots she made. Eight assists and no turnovers against that team. Um, you know, she's doing what the point guard position demands of her. And, uh, you know, my, she knows that I just I want her to continue to do that. I want her to play hard on defense. Uh, all of them know that. I'm not satisfied with any of them. and Because um, I think there's more. I think if we're going to achieve, if we're going to achieve our goals, I think there's more. I think we we get complacent. It's, it's so easy to get complacent. It's human. It's human. But it's not acceptable. You know, we we've, we've got bigger goals in mind up here. And I just want it so bad for these kids. Sometimes to a fault. Sometimes I'm too demanding and too hard. I know I was hard on Tori tonight, and, and uh, you know it. it it's just. Uh, you know, but she's always been that player, high school or college, that's been able to accept the responsibility and, and embrace it. And that's why she's a pro. She's going to be a pro. She's going to be a great player. Um, she's been a great player for us. And, um, you know, that's why, that's what makes her all American. So, you know, Morgan's fine. She's playing well. Coach, you have an opportunity to to win an SEC championship title next week. Can you let your mind go there yet? No. The way Rowe and Blair have shot it this year and proven capable of taking over a game at times, how much has that improved the flexibility of your offense and lineups, even who you have on the floor at different times? Yeah, I mean, I just think we can win different ways. You know, I, I think with different lineups. You saw us play Chloe 28 minutes when we had to have a big lineup against South Carolina. Uh, tonight we did it with, uh, you know, a different lineup. Uh, Jordan comes in and gives us so much flexibility and does a good job for us. And uh, so um, I just think that's what makes this team so special, unique to what we maybe have had in the past. Mm -hmm. We just have some, we just have some flexibility and some different lineups that can really create different problems for people. So um, I, I, you know. What happened tonight probably hadn't happened all year as far as some of those kids not playing and some of these kids playing as many minutes as they did. You know, I don't see it happening again. It's just the way it played out tonight. You had, uh, I think you had one sellout coming into the season you've had, and you're going to have three straight, probably four straight. Does that still surprise you any that this continues to happen on a regular basis, things like this? I just, uh, not anymore, just because I know how our fans are so endeared to these girls. And, uh, you know, I am too. Heck, if I was a fan, I'd be in here every night. I mean, they're so much fun to watch, and I got the best seat in the house. Um, you know, their chemistry, how hard they play, toughness. Um, they're just really special. So maybe at, at some point a year or two ago, but now, no, I think our fans are educated. I think our Mississippi State Bulldog fans are, um, they love these kids. They love our team. They love our program. They travel with us. Um, and again, that's part of building the program, but you got to give these kids all the credit. They're the ones they're coming to see because of how they play the game, how they respect the game, and how they honor the game, and how they represent the name on the front of their jersey. And uh, that's what's really special for me. And uh, that's why I know these kids are going to be successful after basketball. Coach uh, Tierra goes seven for eleven, and it's it's hard to quibble with a shooting percentage, but <coughs> like that. But likely she could have gone eleven for eleven if if she was having a, a better night. Um, do you are you and Coach Harris going to try to work with her to get her to maybe finish at the rim a little bit more consistently to make improve those numbers? Well, I think uh, there was probably two shots in the first half that weren't great. You know, there weren't great shots of the three that she took. I thought all the shots in the second half were really good shots. And, uh, you know, we thing you have to understand with this team, we're not – there's no coach or no player satisfied. We don't go into practice every day going, hey, uh, let's stay where we are. You know, like, we're, we're pretty good. Let's just stay where we are. We, we keep trying to improve. We tr keep trying to get better. Um, and uh, – you know, that's the, that's the challenge for them. Uh, it's not for me and my staff. My staff is on point. They're on point with all these scouts. Uh, I felt better about this scout probably. Um, you know, uh, and again, nothing that's any different from any other scout from any other game, but I just felt like we really 
knew what they wanted to do and how to do it, you know, and, and uh, but the kids still have to go out and execute it. And uh, I thought our kids were really good today. Again, Johnny and, and Carly have had all of them because Dion has been out. And uh, of course, I'm watching film on, on all of them myself, but boy, those two have just been on point with every scout. And uh, our, our kids have taken them and really done a pretty good job of executing. A joint effort by both of them on scout for today, or was it Coach Carly's scout? Or? Uh, we we kind of all chip in. It was Carly's <laughs> today. Uh, uh, I think as far as being, you know, but like Dominique's in charge of, she handles all that out of bounds defense, you know, and so she's she's jumped in and helped, and uh, everybody helps on everything. You know, Johnny looks and because she's in charge out of bounds plays, and so she's always looking to find an edge there, find a place where we can score. So. It, it, it's a joint effort every night. There might be, you might be, you know, um, you might be in charge of the Florida one, but you got help from the other two. That's just how we've always done it. Johnny and I did it together when we were assistants. Coach, same same question I was asked to Victoria. You beat South Carolina and Kentucky same week. How does that feel? Well, it's 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 really special. I mean, look, y'all, twenty six and zero. This is a God thing around here as far as I'm concerned. I mean, this is just really special. It's unique for these kids. It's it's uh, to be able to to have really go back to the Missouri game. That Missouri was such a knockdown drag out for us. And then to come home and have to get ready for South Carolina and then go right back on the road to Florida and then come back home and have to play a really good Kentucky team that's been playing extremely well. So it's just one after another in this league. And uh, I'm happy for these for these kids, for these players, I know how hard it is on them. They got four to go, and uh, we take one at a time. They're going to get there. They're going to achieve their goals, and uh, that's how that's how talented they are and how good they are. And, uh, this is a really special thing, y'all, right now going on. Twenty-six and zero. It's not the normal. It's not the norm. And uh, in my mind, it's absolutely a god thing. Any other questions? All right, thank you, ladies. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you all.